Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about how to create Firebase CRUD operation with Flutter and I'll make you understand with a demo project. So without any wasting time, let's check out the demo. So this is the app and here when I will click on this, from this screen, we can add data. Let's add few data like I'm writing here my channel name, profession coding and age it's been four years old and on top of this data saved successfully i'm showing this with the help of toast now if we will go back then we can see that the data is visible and also we can edit this now if i will tap on update as you can see here data updated successfully also you can delete it so in this video i'll make you understand how to make connection with firebase also i will discuss some basic things like ui and all this video is actually very special for beginners who has started flutter development recently and want to understand concept of firebase it will help a lot if you're watching this video then please do not skip it i'm saying that because you may not get any kind of error or you may not waste your extra time creating this project and i will definitely put the code on github and will share the link with you and also will put the packages whatever i have used in this project in the description box you can check that so without wasting any time, let's jump into the code right after this intro. So we will start with creating new project. New Flutter project. Next. Flutter underscore Firebase app. I'm creating for Android and iOS. I do have only Android device, so I'll do testing with Android device only, but I will show you the setup of complete iOS device also. Create. Now let's run the application. As we all know, this is demo application and it is running successfully. Now we will do our Firebase setup. So first of all, we will go to Firebase, get started. Now we will tap on this create project. We'll give the name Flutter Firebase app. Continue disable this create project it will take some time so setup is done click on continue so our app is created so first of all i'll do setup for android here we required package name inside android folder app and this build.gradle this is our application id let's copy this Test it here. These are optional. Register. Now download Google services.json file. It is downloaded. Now this one let's copy. And inside this app folder, we will have to paste. And make sure the name of this file will be same google-services.json do not change it close this and now go to build.gradle project level means it is inside this android folder and then build.gradle here after installing new updates there are few blocks missing so we need to add first of all we need to add build script then we will have to add Kotlin version after that this thing repositories 
and after that we need to add dependencies watch these steps carefully otherwise if something will miss it will end up with errors so that's it for android level build.gradle file close this now move towards this app level build.gradle inside this app this one here click on next this we have already done here inside plugin we need to add this make sure that you have already three ids available inside this plugin and fourth one will be this whatever we have copied from firebase that's it with this app level build.gradle file close this one and nothing to do with these things click on next continue to console android setup is done now let's go to main.dat file here with the main function we need to add a sync and inside that we need to initialize our firebase but before that we need to install package let's go to pubdev firebase core let's copy this and go to pubspec yaml pubget we need to add one more package cloud firestore copy this pubget so our package are installed now inside this main function we need to initialize our firebase so widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialize and await firebase dot initialize app let's close this and let me run once again so as you can see here my application is running without any error it means that our android setup is done and as you can see here installing profile for com.flutter firebase app it's successfully done now we will do setup for ios add this time we will go for ios here it requires bundle id so now we will go inside this iOS folder, runner export project and this come down here this one it is it you will find it exactly in line number 371 copy this paste it here register app and, and we do not have to add single line or any dependency just we need to download this info playlist google service info playlist file go to download this one copy this and move to this folder runner and inside this folder you will find info playlist it means you will have to paste that file here done close this and also i will put these few lines which i did for android in the description box you can check that so that you may not have any kind of confusion with that let's go to firebase console click on next 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 continue to console and done now after ios setup let's run the application once again it is running without error now we will set up our firebase firestore so inside this build firestore database create database and here we need to choose our region click on next start in test mode create go to rules and nothing to do with that just to remove this comment lines and click on publish then and our cloud firestore is created so further we will modify this main.dart file and start working with the ui where we will get the data from firebase and also we will save or add our data in the firebase and also we will update and delete so these functionalities we will be working on so stay tuned with us so in this home screen we will i'll remove all these things
here i am creating one folder where i will put my all the screens first of all i'll create home screen it will be a stateful kind of widget import the package let's run this get rid of this tag here inside home screen we will use a scaffold app bar title would be text widget bar base operations and also we will add here one floating action button so on top of that we will move to next screen where we will add our user data to the firebase as a child i'll use icon icon slot add let's save this let's provide app bar color purple a shade of 700 and i want my title to be in center also let me provide some styling to app bar text let me set the alignment control alt l also i want little bit font weight bold so font weight dot bold now it is looking good so on top of this i am going to create one more screen which would be add user screen so here i'll create another dot file add new data it will also be a stateful kind of widget i will copy all these things i don't want this floating action button add new user fine so here on tap navigator push context and here material page root context will return add new data fine now Let's save this now. When I will click on this floating action button, it is navigating to add new user screen. So after this, we will add few text field here and add button. So whatever value we will put inside text field and on press of that add button, our data will be saved in our Firebase database. So inside body of this scaffold, I'll use column and I'll copy this text. name and after that little bit of space then i'll show text field height let's increase the size of this text so this is the text field we need to design actually we need to provide proper padding and borders so let's work for that first of all i'll remove this bottom line now i will wrap this text field with container padding
from left it would be 10 and also from right and for borders I'm using decoration box decoration border border dot all and I want to provide border radius border radius dot circular and I want 10 let's save this wrap this column with padding so that it will provide some space from all four sides this should be fine i want my label to start from left so cross axis alignment start fine now i will copy this because i want two more text fields i want to store two more data before that we need to provide some spacing change it to profession and this would be age okay let's set this so there are the three text fields I want to increase width little bit by default it is one so I want little width it is looking good now I will copy this to all the three text fields and after that I want to provide button on press of which I will save the data to the firebase again I will provide here some space with the help of size box elevated button it has two property on press two mandatory property on press and child for child i'll use here text add user and on press i'll call the function for saving data in firebase database let's align control alt l save it make wrap this elevated button with center widget let's provide some more space so our ui is done now i will create controller because whatever we will type inside this text field on press of this button i want that value to be passed in that firebase function then we will be able to store data in firebase database also i want to provide some font design to this button because it is not visible clearly so i don't know why i put this bracket here font weight font size 15 also i want to provide color to this elevated button so for that it has got style property elevated button elevated button dot style from and here background color colors dot purple 700 and then i want to provide text color also for this button also let me provide some padding padding symmetric here in case of symmetric we need to provide only horizontal value and vertical value horizontally i want my button to be long little bit so i will provide 25 
and for vertical i want only 15 let's save this so after this i will create text editing controllers i will have to create three controllers so text editing controller name controller text this one now i will provide each controller to the respective text field this one is for name so here inside this text field i'll add name controller now i will create one more folder for storing all the database functions firebase database and inside this i will create one dart file by the name database methods so inside I'll create one class database methods here inside this database method class I'll create function for storing the data so it will return future name of the function add user data and as parameter i'll pass here map and map is collection of key and value pair obviously key i'll pass a string and value will be dynamic because name profession age these are dynamic data name profession is a string kind of data and on the basis of real world scenario age is integer that is why i'm using here dynamic it is actually good practice whenever you will work in projects large projects basically then you will have to handle large amount of data and then you will use dynamic because you need to handle integer double string array anything you can store here in dynamic user data and also one id this id will be unique and on behalf of this particular id our data will be stored and whenever we will update or delete then on behalf of this id those action will be performed it will return await now i will call firebase firestore function dot instance dot collection and here which text i'll pass as collection in the database same name collection will be created so i'll pass here user dot doc and inside i'll pass this id dot set and here i'll pass map data that is it now whenever i will tap on this button and then i will call this function it is just for reminder whether this function is performing or not whether on press of this button this function is called or not i'm using toast for notification kind of thing so that user can understand that this function has successfully worked so for that pubdev here we will find we will have to search flutter toast copy this also we want random string generator for generating random string 
I'll use random string package. Now let's come to add new data. So on press of this button, first of all, I'll create one string variable and this will hold our random generated string random alphanumeric whose length will be 8 and then I'm creating one map which will hold all the value of text field controller same string and dynamic type user data now I will use name as key and here I'll pass name controller dot text let's copy So this is my user data map. Let's provide a sync. After this, await database methods dot add user data. I'm calling the function for storing data in Firebase database. So as a user data we will have to pass this map and as id i'm passing this random generated id so here when our data is saved in database i want to show toast message so after that dot then value and inside this curly braces i will call my toast so for showing toast I'm creating one folder again by the name utils and inside that I'll create dart file show toast why I'm creating this thing separately because if uh, we will work on large project then if these kind of things were separated then it will not create confusion for developers to understand things if you will do each and everything in same page then it will be messy to understand it is actually a good practice to separate these kind of things in other files that is why i am doing that i'll create here one function get toast let's import the package let's make it little bit more dynamic so message i will pass and also color you do not have to write this code again and again you can use same function for showing toast for different kind of things let's suppose if you are storing data then i am showing green color of toast when i'm deleting data i'm showing red color of toast so this kind of thing we can perform with the help of this get toast function so here instead of this background color i'm changing only now close this in fact close this one also Here I'll call this show toasts dot get toast and here I'll pass the message data saved successfully and toast color I want to show green colors dot 
green now let's run the application it is actually better to clean and pubget then run the application let's suppose if something is not working with this project then i just want to request you please try to run the application after closing ide or android studio or you can do this invalidate cache then it will work fine i was actually facing the same issue my toast was not showing let's run this once again i'm adding dot flutter app eight years i'm going to add this as you can see this toast message is visible here actually i tapped the button two times that is why it is showing message two times and i want this toast at the bottom so bottom save it here android native app 14 years it is saving successfully now let's move to firebase let us refresh this here you can see that data is saving this will be flutter app by the name dart and id is also generating this will also be same because i have tapped the button two times and this is for android native data so my data is saving now in further video i will work on retrieve and update and also work with the ui so stay tuned so now we will work on retrieving data from firebase database so for that let's go to database methods and here i'll create another function for retrieving data so again it will be future type but here it will return a stream kind of result so stream query snapshot why stream because whenever we will change something with the save data then it will be reflect here in our list directly that is why the stream is being used here let's suppose i have saved some user data and if i am changing it as soon as i will change it in firebase database same will be reflect here just because of stream now let's provide name of this function get user data it will return await firebase firestore dot instance dot collection and in the collection we will have to provide same collection name where we are storing the data so it will be user dot snapshots now we will design the ui for retrieving data screen which is our home screen this one this is the app bar floating action button here inside scaffold after floating action button i'll add body and inside body first of all i will add column because i want to show three data from database first one name profession and age so i want to show vertically that is why i'm taking here column inside that i'll use text widget for now let's type the name text only also want to provide some styling so style So here I have created one text widget. 
size is 18 and font weight is bold so let's copy this second one would be for profession and this one would be for edge let's save i want padding from all four sides so wrap this column with padding and padding of 12 i want to provide also i want my text to align from left so cross axis alignment start and i want to show this data inside card view so i will add this padding widget with card widget we need to provide height because as you can see the height of the card is taking whole screen because as a child of this card i'm using column so for that we need to provide height to this card so i'm going to wrap this card with size box and i will provide height of 120 now its height is fine also i will provide width so that it will take width of whole screen media query dot of context size width also i want to provide padding to this card so let's wrap this card with padding now i will provide some color to this card it has got property color colors dot purple dot shade 50 okay also i want to provide border to this card so for providing border this card has shape property so i will use that Also, I want to provide border radius. Now it is looking fine. Let's add constant here to get rid of this green line. Now I will create a stream and one function to get user data function to be called and also i will create list because we will receive multiple data from our database so for that we will use list here first of all i'll create one stream user stream and also i will create one function get initial user because when our screen will load i want the data which is stored in database to be retrieved here that is why i am creating this function and i will call this function inside init state because as soon as our app will run it will show whatever data will be available in our database so inside user stream also i will use a sync await database methods dot get user data so it, it will hold all the data and after that set state now i'm going to create init state 
and here I'll call this get initial user also for showing list I'm creating one more function and it will return widget so its return type would be widget and name of the function would be all user data all user data list and it will return stream builder where our stream will be this user stream and builder will be context and async snapshot will be snapshot it will also return snapshot dot has data so I'm applying here ternary condition if a snapshot has data then it will return list view otherwise it will return empty container list view dot builder again as item builder I'm passing here context and index also we need to provide here item count so snapshot dot data dot docs dot length here we'll provide curly braces if snapshot has no data then it will return empty container here inside list view builder I'll create one instance of document snapshot and its name would be user data and it will be assigned by the snapshot dot data dot docs index and here after this container add column and inside this list view builder we need to return widget and here we will provide the UI whatever we have created here so let's copy this and we'll put semicolon and we need to do some changes here because we want to show actual data from our database so here we will concatenate the string so our data is inside this user data so user data and along with we need to provide field name so if i will check my field name for name this one we need to copy and paste it here and it is showing a error because of this constant so remove this let's copy this only change the respective field profession age this one is age so we need to put the field name here exact whatever it is now I will call this all user data instead of this size box all user data now let's save this and let's run the application as you can see here 
this three data which is showing inside list is coming from database now if i will check database there are three user data available and these three are visible on this home screen so what i will do i will go here for add new user now i will try to add new user data here add user it is added now let's check database it is added here so if we will go back you can see here this is also added here so for name i will use jennifer i will check this you can see here it is updated this is happening because of stream that we have used now i will save data directly from firebase and i will show you as soon as i will add data manually from firebase it will be direct reflected on this phone screen so here let's add let me provide id some random number 12345 and field let's type name paul do not make any mistake with the field name spellings otherwise it will create ambiguity and it will throw error so profession videographer actually and age 32 now let's as soon as i will save this it will reflect here in this list so this data i have added from here firebase directly and it is reflecting here now what i will do i will delete this one as soon as i will delete it from here it will remove from this screen delete document it is removed so further in this video we will be talking about how to update the data because here i will provide update button also we will work on deleting data from mobile application so stay tuned with us for further functionalities so this is actually third session of our video where i will update our already stored data in firebase database so for that first of all we need to make few changes in the ui so for that first of all this is my all user data list if you will come here this is the thing and here after this text i want to show button and what i will do i will show edit and delete both button but first i'll work with edit functionality so here i'm taking row and inside children i'll be taking two buttons two elevated buttons let's put null for now here i'll use text remove this bracket and as title of this button i'm using edit also as you can see here this overflow error is coming so we need to increase our card size let's increase by 20 till there is 18 pixels of error so let's provide 170 now there is no error i want to provide this text some styling because it is looking small
let's copy this for delete button too also i want to show these two button taking whole width of this screen so for that we need to wrap this elevated button with expanded widget let's provide little bit of space between these two buttons I want to provide background color to these buttons so for that it has property of style elevated button dot style form and it has got two property background color for button background color here I'll use colors dot purple dot shade this time I'll take 100 fine now let's copy this style and i will paste it here inside this elevated button and here background color i'll show shade 700 now if i will save this you can say that button color and this text color is not matching that is why it has got another property foreground color for text colors colors dot white now it is visible now i will work on this on tap functionality let's increase the height of size box and i want to provide some space between this text and button so here size box 10 and now i will work on this on tap functionality of this edit button so for that i'm creating here one function future type it will return and the name of the function would be edit user detail and as a parenthesis we need to pass id because on behalf of this id it will check for the particular data in firebase database and that data will be retrieved and then user can edit that so here it will return show dialog whenever user will tap on this edit button alert dialog box will appear and that dialog box will contain all the three text fields including data whatever we have saved earlier so as builder context here we need to return here we need to provide semicolon it will return alert dialog semicolon and here we need to provide content and this content will be column children also inside this column i want to take row children and as a children i will pass here text and close button so for text i'm going to copy this text widget here i'll use another text edit user detail and also i'll provide icon icons dot close and we'll wrap this in gesture detector on tap i will close this dialog so navigator dot pop now we will call this edit user detail 
function on press of this edit button edit user detail and as id we will have to provide like this user data and id we need to provide exactly same whatever it is written in firebase database this one so on behalf of this it will provide particular user data and on behalf of that we will be able to edit this so on press of this now we are getting this dialog we need to add text field and update button so we will work on that we can copy the text field and the button from add new data from here just copy it and paste it here after this row this is the button so on press of that we need to change that is why this code is for adding user details in firebase database we will add another method for updating our user details so for now let's delete all this or let it be because we will require this map and all and instead of this add user we will use update user also we will be required these controllers from here we will copy these three now let's save so text field and this button is visible but we need to work on some ui things so for that first of all we will set the height of this dialog according to the content so for this we need to wrap this column with container and we need to provide fix height for now i'm providing 300 let's see that is giving overflow error need to provide some more height also we need to provide some space between this heading and this label so here we want our ui to be shifted from left so for this column has property of cross axis alignment start and now we will have to work on this heading so we need to provide some styling to this style text style font size let's take 18 font weight bold also want to change this icon cancel and will provide color also let's save close it want to provide some spacing between these two so this row has also got property for that main axis alignment space between fine now whenever i'm tapping on any one of the user details for editing it should provide the value here so for that inside this on press of this edit button we need to initialize text field controller with this 
values so first of all name controller dot text equal to user data name of that field is name it should match firebase database field name and now let's copy for rest of the two this is profession age now let's tap on this so as you can see here this is already filled text fields now on tap of this we want to update whatever we will change data in the respective text field so for that we need to come here inside database methods and we will create separate function for that would be future and name of the function i would suggest update user data and it will require id so on behalf of this id it will update particular data and also it requires map because we will update the data and that data will be stored in map and this map will update the existing user data so again it will be key will be string type and value will be dynamic user data or i will use updated user data and it will return it will also be a sync kind of function so we will use here await firebase firestore dot instance dot collection and inside collection we need to pass our collection name which is user dot doc inside doc we will have to provide unique id and final update and inside update we will pass our updated user data map now we will call this update user data function on press of update user button so now let's go to home screen and here let's remove this id it is not required because we are already getting id here let's uncomment whole thing here name of the map i'll use updated user data so this is correct and here in place of this add user i will use update user data and as parameter first we will pass id and another one we will pass this map updated user data and again we need to import this data updated successfully now let's run this let's change the age from 20 to 25 let's update data updated successfully and if you can see here this is updated now i want once our data is updated i want my dialog to be closed automatically so for that inside this then function we need to add navigator dot pop save it now again let's change the name this time android native platform and change the age to 15 now let's update it is updating so after this 
we will have only one functionality left which is delete the particular data so in the further video we will see how to delete data from our database so stay tuned now for deleting user data let's go to database method and create one separate function for that again we need to pass id here so that that particular data only will be deleted from firebase database So the function for deleting data is created now we will call this delete user data function from on tap of this delete button let's minimize this and here i'm creating one more function which will return widget we will pass id here and whenever user will tap on this we want to show dialog for confirmation whether user want to delete that particular data or not that is why i'm creating separate function for that inside this children i will pass text widget for the message what i will do i will copy the message or text widget from here or let me copy this whole row rather than applying no button i will add that cross button for closing the dialog only confirm button or yes button will be there so on tap of that we will delete the data from firebase database wherever you are getting this green line you can add this constant providing some space between button and the text let's copy the button also from this function on press of this we don't want this so let's comment for now delete user data before working on this delete user data button let's call our dialog delete user data on press of this delete button we will pass id here like this let's save this now i'm going to press on delete okay, we need to provide some height to this uh, dialog box because your it is taking whole screen length also there is overflow issue okay so here inside this we need to cut this and instead of putting that inside row we need to put here
let's wrap it this thing we need to handle only remove this constant and we will wrap this text with expanded this space should be here it is looking fine so you can modify this ui according to your requirement but for now each and everything is working only i need to add delete user function on the tap of this delete user data button so here what i'll do let's uncomment this delete user data yes now it is not required we will call delete user data and here we need to pass id only and data deleted successfully and the color of the toast i want to show in red save this now when let's delete this one not this one this is my channel name this one delete user data it is deleted so as you can see here we have already tackled the crud operation with firebase like creating data in firebase database retrieving updating and deleting if you have learned something new and something informative from this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel hope to see you next time in a next video bye for now